A Chinese state-owned mining company in the U.S. is making headlines in Tennessee. The state is considering whether to ban mountaintop removal. Concerns over the practice of this type of mining activity have prompted a TV campaign by a conservative political group. A group in the United States called the Tennessee Conservative Union released an advertisement on Monday. The ad supports proposed state legislature that would ban mountaintop removal for virgin peaks over 2,000 feet. But behind the ad is concern that a Chinese-owned mining company, which has surface rights to about 48 square miles, would cause damage to Tennessee's mountains. Tennessee has become the first state in our great nation to permit the red Chinese to destroy our mountains and take our coal. The same folks who hold our debt, hack our businesses, and have the worst conservation record in the world. Triple H Coal Company was bought by Chinese state-owned Guizhou Guochang Energy Holdings last year. This was the first Chinese acquisition of a U.S. coal company, and a top Chinese CEO in the coal industry said Chinese coal companies were interested in further acquisitions. While TCU is worried about the destructive practice of mountaintop removal, it is also concerned over Chinese companies with a poor environmental record acquiring U.S. assets. We're proud that Tennessee is a red state, but just how red are we willing to go? Environmentalist group Appalachian Voices points out that while the coal is mostly sent to other states now, it may not be that way for long. Last year, the U.S. sent 12 percent of U.S. coal overseas. And as alternatives to coal become cheaper in the U.S., the group predicts that percentage will increase. It also warns that if the coal industry becomes more international, the profits from Tennessee coal will go overseas while the pollution will stay at home.